Hey everyone, it's Leftovers for Dinner, and today I'm going to dye my hair with $1 hair dye from the dollar store. This is Color Easy Permanent Cream Hair Color. Got it for just a dollar at Dollar Tree, and this stuff's going on my hair. This stuff. Let's see how that goes. Uh, this is Color Easy Hair Dye. It's by a company called De La Ritz. I've seen blog posts and videos on this already. Um, pretty skeptical because it's a dollar, but everybody online is actually saying some really positive stuff about it. The thing is though, even though this is at my dollar store for just a dollar, if you look online, it's anywhere from like the cheapest was like $3.99 all the way up to $8.99, and $8.99 is what I pay for L'Oreal when I used to dye my hair with L'Oreal. I have a really sensitive scalp, so I'll actually dye my hair only after all my gray has come in, which you can kind of see right there, just barely. So I'll wait to dye my hair, but this in a pinch, if I need touch-ups for a dollar, it should hurt. It shouldn't hurt, right? I mean, everybody who did a blog post or a video, I like how their hair has turned out, and not many people are complaining about it. So I'm gonna try it. This is the medium auburn 3RV colorway, and let's see what's inside. Inside, we have a tiny bottle of developer. Um, looks like it's that full. <laughs> And we have the actual dye, big old tube of it, about 1.4 flowing ounces. And some gloves. And instructions. So that's it. Now, I do know some people are saying it comes with conditioner. Other people are saying it doesn't come with conditioner. Mine did not. Now, also, a lot of people are saying it doesn't cover all their hair. One box is not enough. So I went and actually got three boxes and no conditioner in those either. I guess it's up to the color or maybe if you have an old box or a new box. Um, doesn't matter to me because I'll just use my own deep conditioner afterwards. No big problem. So there we go. Now, just like with any time you dye your hair, I have the necessities. I've got my junk t-shirt. I have clean, shampooed, but not conditioned hair, and it's also dry. Um, I haven't washed it in at least 20 hours. That's what happens for some directions, not all of them. I also have my own gloves because I never trust the gloves that come in the box of any hair dye much less a box from the dollar store. These are just normal salon gloves and they're nitrile, which is safe for me, as opposed to latex. I also have um, petroleum jelly to put on my neck and face so that there no staining occurs. And what else do I have? Oh yeah, paper towels and something to clean with because that will happen. I always get stuff everywhere and since I've never used this stuff before, I don't know how badly it's gonna stain. So I'm gonna be quick to whooping out the paper towels. Oh, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, I'm also gonna have all the boxes ready beforehand, before I actually start applying. I don't wanna get halfway through something and then realize, oh no, I need to mix another box. I'm gonna go ahead and mix two boxes up front, and then if it really gets down to it, I'll mix the third box. So, not sure if I'm gonna show you that stuff, because it's very unflattering having nothing but red hair dye and goopy petroleum jelly all over your face. It looks kinda of weird, but we'll see. I'll go ahead and get started, though. When you do the whole petroleum jelly on the face thing, while you're doing it, make sure to take your earrings out, if they can be taken out, and do the back of your ear. If you're like me, you don't always wear your hair down, 
and if you wear your hair up the first couple of days you dye your hair, which is something I usually do, the backs of your ears are going to be medium auburn. So go ahead and get that done too. Ew, this part stinks. Okay, I'm um, getting the gloves on. I've already put petroleum jelly all over me. So now to start prepping the dye with greasy hands or gloves. Okay, oops. Okay. Go ahead and open the toner bottle. And luckily the cover, the color easy color tube, it's got one of those little pokey things. So we're just gonna go like that. And we're really gonna go like that. Okay. And okay, it's open. So let's put it in the developer. I can tell you right off the bat. Not that stinky, not like some of the dyes I've used in the past. Especially the cheap ones like Color Silk. God, that one stinks. <laughs> this one's not so bad so far. I mean, other, other hair dyes, as soon as I open the box, you could smell them. So, all right, there we go. All right, now we're gonna go put the lid on it. I'm going to get this one started before I do it the rest of the way in the camera. Now, the weird thing is, there's so little developer in these that it kind of makes me wonder, is this just me laying dye on my hair with only a little bit of developer? But hey, that probably means it might be less damaging. I don't know. I'm not a hair expert. So, there we go. Two bottles ready to go. I'm just gonna put this on here. Let's see, this one's gonna go on easier than the other bottle. And shake. <laughs> and I have two bottles already, and I'm not passing out from the smell. That's amazing. Great, we're ready to go. I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, pretty dark already, which makes me wonder, am I actually going to look like the girl on the box? Ew! <laughs> I'm only trying to go for a little bit of color, nothing too dramatic, so let's wish me the best. I have my own technique for applying hair color. I don't do it the way most people do, which is start at the top and work your way down, and that's because of my sensitive scalp. I'm going to do it my way, and we're going to get this little cap off, and we're going to get started now. Well, this stuff is very thick. Again, the smell is not that bad, but it's pretty thick so far. And let's go ahead and get in here. Oops, I just bumped the camera. Let's make sure it's still okay. Oh, it is okay, and it's running low on battery, so let's make this quick. You guys don't want to see the whole video of me doing this because it's going to take a while. So here's your little preview of how I'm spending the next 20 minutes or so. I went ahead and opened up the third bottle. It looks like it's going to take three bottles to get me full coverage on this. So, yep. 
will say, so far it's taken over 10 minutes or so to get this all worked into my hair. And I'm still not done. I think I missed a couple of spots, but I'll do those off camera. And it took three bottles so far. So wish me the best. I'm probably gonna leave this on for about 20 minutes, not like a whole 35 to 45. Well, maybe 25 minutes I'll leave it on for. Because again, I have a sensitive scalp. So far, it hasn't started burning. It has started to tingle back here, which is where I'm a little sensitive. So if it gets too unbearable, I am gonna wash it out. But compared to other dyes, normally my scalp would be on fire by now. So this is looking good, looking positive. All right, I'm gonna get back to my hair. Hey everyone, so I'm back and my hair has been dyed. Just wanted to share with you guys how it turned out. Now, when I first washed it and dried it, it was very red, especially up here where I tend to get some blonde highlights. But I wanna say two washings and it faded down to this nice halfway decent auburn color. So for a dollar, I'm pretty happy with these results. Granted, I did have to use three boxes, which is three bucks, but three bucks is like color silk hair dye, which is one of the cheapest hair dyes and usually hurts my head really bad. So three dollars, three boxes of dollar store hair dye, I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, just showing them off to you guys. What do you think? And um, thanks for watching my video.